Hello folks and welcome to the Buck and Chuck show here on WPCR Radio. We're glad you could join us for week 40. Starting off with uh, this wonderful, wonderful weather we're having. Chuck, do you hear? I'm here and uh, good evening folks. Happy Thursday, February 24th, I believe. Um, you know what? We got our friend Dag uh, Parcel back with us this weekend. We were very fortunate that uh, he was available. Say hello, Dag. Hello, Dag. How are you? Uh, welcome to the show. Thank Happy you. Happy to have you. And uh, in honor of Dag being on the show, uh, we're going to start right off with a song that pretty much describes this show. It, uh, it's by the Talking Heads. It came out in 1989, and it's called The Road to Nowhere. Live from high above Putin Bay on Perry's Monument, it's the Buck and Chuck Show. Yeah! yeah woo! <laughs> Thank you, Ed McMahon. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> well, Dag, welcome. Uh, once again, we are here and we have uh, absolutely nothing of importance to talk about, uh, including most of the entertainment schedule. But, so you didn't uh, get a hold of Mike Callahan to get some more uh, question and answer uh, period? That was kind of fun. Like, no, well, I, I have some limericks today that oh. was supplied by another uh, one of our uh, steadfast fans. And the other we'll, one? We'll get to the, yeah, the other one. We'll get, to the, we'll get to those a little later in the show. So uh, what have you been up to, Buck? Well, this week, pretty slim. Uh, just, you know, we uh, took in the Cats on Holiday show, you and I, on Sunday at the... Uh, the Moaner, what do we call that? The uh, uh, name escapes me, or pet name for that place, but at any rate, oh yeah, the Breeders' Cup. And uh, it was, as usual, quite enjoyable to see the uh, uh, cats on holiday. You and I both like their uh, Cajun kind of music. Yeah, they're a, uh, a fine contemporary act. And uh, once again, they don't play the same old crap that you hear everywhere else. And well, they, what makes it they, nice. play, they play the same old stuff, but they arrange it differently, so uh, or disguise it better than most. Let's put it that way. Jump in, Dag, anytime. Well, I spent the week in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. National, I wonder what that smell was. Yeah, the National Farm Machinery Show. Which Ooh. Is, you know, everybody should attend that occasionally. Just, just to, once in their life. Just to realize you don't like it. And just, folks, just when you thought we couldn't sink any lower, <laughs> we talk about the National Farm Machinery Show. <laughs> and Tractor Pull. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, who won? I, well, that I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay that much attention to the Tractor Pull. Well, Louisville's a fine city. Yes, it is. I hope you uh, were fortunate enough to stay at the Brown Hotel, because that's uh, one of the great hotels in America. I actually know that I In and around America. It is. I'm getting a signal from my partner, I Bunk, over so. there. I don't know what it means. And you're not taking it very Other well. Other than shut up. <laughs> no, we uh, certainly want to mention that uh, this show, as well as most of our shows, is sponsored by Tommy Johnson, really, uh, connected with Howard Hanna, and... Uh, Thank Tommy for all of her support. She's an inspiration to me. In fact, uh, when she uh, told me that she used to uh, advertise on a uh, Christian radio station, I immediately moved into a church. Yeah, you took it literally, didn't you? <laughs> I did. And uh, I have a stained glass window of the Good Shepherd peering into my bedroom loft. So do you want some of my uh, put and bay trivia? I want anything you got to offer today. I got kind of a sore throat. Oh. Sore throat. Sore throat. So uh, Dag and I had conducted a personal interview with uh, Ronnie Howard Sunday and kind of getting some inside poop on what's going on at put and bay this coming summer. And as we discussed last week, it was 51 days until the uh, whiskey light. Guess what? It's no. only <laughs> 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 42 or 3 or 4. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a <laughs> it's a way <laughs> off. Where were 7 under uh, 51 or was it? So, uh, 44, Bob. But understand that uh, cruising is only going to be at the roundhouse like once a summer or once a month. 
through the summer. I don't know who they've got on there or taken up the extra space, but I guess uh, a lot of new changes are going on at the roundhouse. And I understand that their addition that was rumored to uh, be going to happen of a um, swim up bar behind the place has yet to be started. So apparently uh, something's going on there that they haven't have done their swim up bar yet. The uh, well, I think uh, Bay certainly needs another swim up bar. Oh, no question. Uh, you know, 10, 12, 30, I don't know how many they have, but uh, pretty soon it won't be an island anymore. It'll be water <laughs> surrounded by water. <laughs> you never can have too many swim up bars. Well. And, they, and they'll all be okay. And they'll all be full, guaranteed. Right. And the, uh, let's see, moving on down the street, uh, Frosty's uh, fountain area is coming along quite nicely, and I understand there's even a webcam where you can watch the one or two guys that marooned on the island through the winter working on the project. They're in the back end of Frosty's, and they're getting a new uh, couple of sandboxes for the men and the women's, which they long needed. And the other piece of news down at the uh, beer barrel is that they pretty much signed up Mustang Sally for every single weekend of the year. Uh, Mustang Sally, for somehow or another, has become the, like their house band and just has bazillions of dates. And uh, fortunately, fitted in there when Mustang Sally's not there, is the band from Chicago known as Infinity, which is the journey tribute band and these guys are just phenomenal with great sound and all the journey songs that we all know and love. So with that I'll bow out and let the Chuck Music Hour continue. Well and uh, why don't we just play a song uh, which uh, really it's not happening here right now but typically does. Uh, this is Harry Nielsen's version of Let the Good Times Roll. Chuck carrying the piano for the Buck and Chuck show. Gets heavy lugging this this around, but uh, welcome back uh, to feeling all right with Buck and Chuck. At uh, feeling, uh, at, uh, I'm having Jeez, a stroke. Spit <laughs> at it. Radio dot com. WPCR and in other cities. Um, uh, I hope you've had a chance to uh, download your uh, app to your iPhone. I know you all have them, uh, so that you can be with us every minute of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, scary. In a life. We're sitting here with uh, my partner Buck, the brains of the show, not to mention the looks of the show, and our pal Darwin Parcel, better known around Catawba as Dag, truly one of the Catawba characters, Mr. Bubbly, Effervescent, Kind Speaking Dag. What's up, man? Hey, not much. How are you doing? God, you gotta do better. Right, I can't. I have to keep you it. You want me to stretch this a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just a, it's we a got forty nine more minutes. Beautiful day. Go. February's about over. March is coming up. Uh, the bay's going to be back open, and you know things are going to get exciting. On How many Tom days is it till the whiskey light? I uh, you know, for you, uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> One thing you you know you talked about uh, some of the things going on over at Putin Bay, uh, the remodeling and things of that nature. What's the word on uh, the crow's nest? I understand there's quite a major remodeling going on there too. They're tearing out walls and tearing out walls, adding a stage, so that they can have indoor uh, plumbing. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> indoor plumbing, <laughs> and uh, they're trying to get around that noise ordinance that they got out there, where they have to uh, try to uh, be real quiet after 11 o'clock at night, and they got one neighbor up there that continues. To uh, give them kind of a rough time, so they're going to move it indoors, put in a stage, and they're knocking out the wall between the bar and the old dining room, which never seemed to get used. And that's where the stage. Although the food is not too bad. No, the food's decent. Oh yeah. Well, and you know, we can take care of that uh, malcontent neighbor if you can get one of your buddies with a D8 cat. We'll just take him right out of the picture. <laughs> and you know, we got a new Thai restaurant coming to town. Okay, I'm. Uh, this is you heard it here first, folks. This is late breaking news. 
just picked it up off of Facebook that uh, the old Carlos and Charlie's downtown there that they're renovating and next to the little coin operated laundry mm -hmm. is going to be a uh, Thai restaurant and the signs for the Thai restaurant will be furnished and supplied by our own Jerry Davenport. Mm -hmm. huh. So uh, another new restaurant coming to town and they're going to serve all the Thai dishes from uh, uh, this ought to be good. Yeah, I want to be good. <laughs> 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 Hamburg, Slovaki, and baklava. Yeah, and, you can take your grape leaves. Tabbouleh and stuff it up with falafel for all <laughs> So, uh, yeah, new Thai restaurant, and uh, stay tuned. Have you, you ever uh, have you ever been in a Thai restaurant? You know, I haven't, <laughs> but okay. I understand their food is supposedly pretty spicy. It's hot, it. but uh, if you're looking at the menu... Now we're talking Thai, not, not Lebanese. Thai, uh -huh. I understand. You look at the menu, and it's just a bunch of random sil syllables. Pad Thai Kung Gao Cha, and uh, I'm making this up, but uh, I can never make any sense out of it. I know they uh, wrap stuff up in cabbage leaves, and uh, so I'm looking forward to it, anything. Anything's better, anything new and different, rather than the same menu that the other 20 restaurants here have is welcome as far as I'm concerned. There you have it. Oh, there you have it. The views expressed by Chuck are not necessarily those of this station, but, but they are else. But they are correct, usually. Okay. All right, well, how about another song, and then uh, we'll come back, and uh, I'll do the entertainment schedule for you. I'm going to add a new, uh, a new light to it today. Uh, this song is called City of New Orleans. This is the Arlo Guthrie version. The real version. Well, it's actually, I was going to talk about that. Most people think Arlo Guthrie wrote that song, and that is completely inaccurate. Cher wrote it. A gentleman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right after she wrote you that love letter. Dear Only Fan. Um, it was written by a man named uh, Steve Goodman, who was taken from us way too soon, but Steve was from Chicago. He wrote many fine songs. It had a Mediocre recording career. Did he electrocute himself? No, I, I with no, a handgun. I say he died of natural <laughs> causes. That was last week. That's, you're a very funny man. <laughs> I'm still trying to handgun. That's that's one of the dishes at the Thai restaurant. <laughs> handgun. handgun. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how you do that. Uh, Electrocute yourself with a hand. <coughs> Nonetheless, this is uh, Arlo Guthrie's version of the Steve Goodman song, City of New Orleans. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 